one has a really special feeling. It's like super intimate between us and BYU because it's really only us. And today it was really only us. And so to get them is awesome because they're good and they're strong and they, they don't lay down, you know? They fight all 24 minutes, all 23 and a half minutes today, they fought. And to get them means that we fought too. And I'm really proud of all nine of our guys, even though only five of them scored, all nine of them fought. And that was really awesome to I mean, it's from our first to our ninth runner in there is uh, everyone was pushing that top five, which is the most important part. So everything had to go right, and it did. You know, at the end, I ended up catching the BYU guy right before the line, and that turned out to be you know such a such a big difference maker for us. So I don't know, I mean, I didn't know at the time, but after it's just it was just so exciting to hear like, hey, that's you know that that probably did it for us. So I don't know, it kind of takes me back to uh, my redshirt year when Woody. Woody did the same thing. He caught one of BYU's guys at the line, and we ended up winning by one point. So, you know, that, it's just it's just a great feeling. You know, it was kind of the plan all along. Uh, I would have liked to complete that sweep. So, but I'm pretty happy with a fourth, and just happy overall that we were able to pull it out. I mean, it's it's awesome, but more importantly, I think I mean for me it was it was great to send the older guys out on a good on a good note, like DP, Fobble, you know, Reed. I know those guys really wanted to, they want. They wanted it and it's it just kind of, that's just something I kept in the back of my head, you know, just do it for them, not just for yourself, do it for the team. I don't know, it's still it's still setting in, you know. Um, I didn't I didn't know I was going to have it until the line, uh, until the finish line. I knew uh, I knew Scott was going to give me a run for it as I made my move, so it's, uh, it feels, it's an honor to uh, do that with Scott in our fifth year. David's one of the hardest workers I know and he's, Work come through so much adversity over the last, not just this year, but in the past, before that. And uh, when he has big success like this, it's really inspiring for me and it's, it's really validating for me to know that he did so well. It means a lot to me for him to, for him to win. I mean, this was strategic. It, it was us stacking up in a duel, uh, in a hard duel. It was commitment from the gun, which is gonna be what our mindset has to be in regionals and furthermore in nationals. Momentum is really undervalued in cross country, I think. If, if you have a good race last time, you just got to go do it again. There's nothing special. You don't have to do anything new. It sets us up well because we just have to go run well again. We just have to do it again two more times. This is just the first step of uh, the long process, and um, these next two weeks are going to be important. We've got to get ready for regionals. You know, we, um, we should be in the national meet already, but we still want to go out there and run well, you know, keep our momentum going for the national meet. And then once nationals rolls around, you know, it's, you just got to go for it. You know, it's just kind of uh, chipping away. Um, this was the start, and we're only going to get better from here. So good confidence builder and just excited for the next two meets.